Drag racing on the Gandhi Bridge over the weekend. Officers arrested several people in St. Pete, clocked at speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour. People living in that area tell us it's nothing new. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit is driving Tampa Bay forward, finding out what's being done to keep you safe and get drag racers off the street. Our building is set off the road, and even from my living room, I have to turn up the TV because I hear it every night. Rob Stewart is talking about the roaring engines and screeching tires of cars and bikes racing on Gandhi Boulevard. He says the drag racing can go into the early morning hours, disturbing him and his neighbors. It goes on sometimes until one or two in the morning. I'll wake up and get a glass of water. I'm like, wow, they're still racing. It's not only a nuisance, but street racing is dangerous for drivers like James MacGyver, who shares the road with them when he's driving home from work. Somebody eventually is going to get killed. Uh, I mean, there's going to be a wreck. Somebody's going to be running across the street or something, and it's going to happen. It's, it's inevitable. The Florida Highway Patrol tells me that drag racing is not just an issue here on Gandhi Boulevard, but the issue is happening all over bridges in the Bay Area. I found out they are now using unmarked vehicles to crash down on the dangerous crime. Over the weekend, FHP made two arrests on Gandhi. The drivers clocked in at more than 120 miles per hour. The problem officers face is finding racers in the act. Stewart hopes more can be done to stop drag racers in their tracks. They should put officers at both ends of the Gandhi Bridge, and I think it would deter them, at least for a while. In St. Petersburg, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News. Well, we get several calls about street racing complaints on Gandhi Boulevard to our Driving Tampa Bay Forward tip line. If you have a tip or a story you want us to look into, you can call us at 866-428-6397 or email us at drivingatwfts.com.